Please welcome the engineers. Once again, good evening and welcome to Rensselaer and Houston Field Dials for tonight's Autism Awareness Night and the matchup between the Red Hawks of Miami and your homestanding engineers of Rensselaer. And now let's meet the starting lineups. First, the visitors from Miami. Starting in the goal, number one, Jay Williams. And left defense is number 58, Louis Beltidio. And right defense, number eight, Matthew Cato. The starting forwards for Miami at left wing, number 42, Connor Lemeron. At center for the Red Hawks, number seven, Austin Zarnick. And at right wing, number 11, Riley Barber. The rest of the Miami Red Hawks, their head coach, Enrico Blasi. Tonight's RPI starting lineup is brought to you by Dunkin' Donuts. Dunkin' Donuts' new dark roast blend features a bold start and a smooth finish, just like your engineers. And leading your engineers on the ice, please welcome the junior engineer, Jimmy King. Starting in the goal for RPI, a junior from Winnipeg, Manitoba, number 33, Jason Kastor. <laughs> On defense, a junior from Williamsville, New York, number 24, Chris Bradley. <laughs> At right defense, a junior from Oakville, Ontario, number six, Phil Hampton. <laughs> Starting forward line for the engineers. At left wing, a freshman, from Stockholm, Sweden, number 12, Victor Lilligren. At center, a junior from Banska Bistrica, Slovakia, number 17, Milos Bubela. And at right wing for the engineers, a sophomore from Rochester, New York, number 14, Riley Bourbonnet. The rest of the engineers, their head coach is Seth Appert. Assistant coach is Brian Vines. Nolan Graham and Mark Cavosi. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we ask that you please stand and remove your hats, direct your attention to the ice surface. For a ceremonial puck drop, featuring our sponsor for tonight, please direct your attention to center ice and Eddie Dupuy. General Manager of Fusilla Kia of Schenectady, our main sponsor for the specially designed autism awareness jerseys the engineers are wearing tonight, will drop the ceremonial first puck. For RPI fans in the autism community, in the entire capital region, as Billy would say, Eddie and the RPI athletics family are huge. And now, please welcome Aaron and Abby Hanna, who will sing the national anthems of Canada and the United States of America. Is the microphone on? Oh, Canada, terre de nos aïeux, ton front est sainte, de florent glorieux, quand ton bras 
activity of the Institute, including WRPI's coverage of RPI hockey, football, and baseball. Reminder that WRPI is on the World Wide Web. Point your browser to WRPI.org and you can pick up WRPI's broadcast 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So long as our WRPI is broadcasting, we will provide the broadcast on our internet feed. Once again, that is WRPI.org. And a quick recruitment reminder that WRPI Sports is seeking current RPI students to make live calls of RPI athletic events such as this one. There are opportunities this season to get on the air for men's and women's hockey. For more information or to express interest, contact us at WRPI-sports at rpi.edu. Engineers and Red Hawks set to drop the puck here at the Houston Fieldhouse. Miami once again wearing their road red uniforms with white trim. Engineers wearing their one-time use autism awareness uniforms. A lot of white with red pants, red helmets, and the checkered sleeves. Those are the puzzle pieces as I mentioned earlier. RPI wearing their white socks. Linesman, excuse me, referees today, Scott Wheeler, Peter Fiola, linesman Matt Brady. Michael Emanation. Engineers will skate from right to left, and we are just about set to drop the puck. RPI looking to avenge last night's loss, and we are underway. Matthew Cato out of Cota del Casa, California, with the puck near side, shooting up the boards. Flipped back in the neutral zone and shot in deep by Milos Babello, or make it Victor Lilligren, rather. Puck towards the near corner of the Miami zone. They move it out to center. It's Riley Barber being tugged at by Lilligren on the jersey. He's lucky no one saw that. As the engineers will take over in their own end. Hampton near side for Liljegren. Chopping it into the zone. It'll go deep. RPI will get an early change. We're 30 seconds in. Red Hawks have it behind their own goal. It's Cato. Goes to the far side for Zarnik. And Zarnik will fire it into the zone. It'll wrap around to the far corner. Wilson tried to move it out of there. It was shoved right back in his face. He'll go behind the net with it. Left back for Wilson. Far side for the Liberté. He'll backhand it off the boards. Bobella controls the neutral zone. Three on three for the engineers. As that one hit the linesman skate, that could cause problems for RPI here. Schrader needs to get into the play quickly, and he does. Centering pass comes all the way through to the near corner. Potential two on one there for Miami. Went by the wayside. Engineers move it out through center, connecting to Schrader. Couldn't control the pass, and it shot right back into RPI territory. Prapavesis goes D to D, and now Melanson. Drew Melanson picked up his fourth goal of the year last night. Helped RPI pull within 3-2, but that's as close as they got in the end. Despite over a minute of five-on-three power play time at the end of the game, RPI was unable to equalize. Miami has it in their own zone. Shooting up the far boards is Politis. This will go all the way down. It will be 
icing on Miami University. And as this game gets underway here, uh, another guy that Coach Appert was looking to to uh, really uh, provide some fire for this team is uh, Drew Melanson. Melanson had a, a great game last night, and uh, we're gonna they're gonna be looking for him to uh, carry that over tonight and uh, find some offensive score scoring here. Puck one back by the Red Hawks behind their own goal. They'll try the near side. Anthony Lewis was part of that under uh, 18, the junior team, I should say the. U.S. junior team that was playing in Canada, the World Junior Championships. He's back and with his college teammates here, a draft pick of the Chicago Blackhawks, and he was, did, obviously was not here last night. Yeah, you mentioned uh, just the fact that they have a player of that caliber just goes to show that uh, what Coach Apper was saying in the pregame, that this might be the best group of forwards that they're going to play all year, save for maybe Harvard. Uh, they bring a lot of firepower to this game, and uh, it's going to be a test for the, for the defense once again. Two minutes in here, no score. Face off in the RPI zone. Prapavesis working up the far wall. Barber, he'll play it back for Cato. Cato connects the center back to Barber into the zone. He'll walk in, take a shot. It was partially blocked. Looked like it was Bradley Bell who got a piece of that one. Prapavesis now, far side of his own zone, holding it. Works up the wall. It's intercepted and flung back into the zone by Lemerand. Connor Lemerand, a freshman from Janesville, Wisconsin, six foot six, 237 pounds. Biggest man on the ice with RPI's Luke Brownie, one of those suspended. There's a shot coming save by Kasdorf, flipped into the corner. Andrew Schmidt, who scored a goal last night, trying to battle with the puck. He works it back to the point. Far side, now near point. Rickard throws it in front, swept at, a shot coming. That one's turned away by Diebold. A near giveaway there by Bradley Bell. It was a giveaway, a near goal scored there as it was Schmidt. Hanging out in the slot, he got a quick shot away, but Kasdor was able to make the pad save. Bell has it now, throw near side Riley Bourbonnet. Bourbonnet into the zone, works below the goal line to the near corner. Stops up there, he's being pressured, he'll throw it behind the net. Quickly flipped out by Corrali and moved out to center ice. All the way down it goes, it'll be icing for a second time on the Red Hawks. A lot of offensive pressure put on here early by the Red Hawks. Uh, bad turnover in the engineer zone gives them a pretty good scoring opportunity, and uh, luckily Kasdorf stands strong. The engineers are going to be looking to uh, press a little more and spend a little less time in their own zone as this game progresses. Engineers, as most teams are better when they're spending more time in the offensive end. That's been the case when they've had their, uh, their positive play here this weekend and in the past weekends as well. There's a shot from the far point that goes high and wide from Bradley's. Rob mentioned he's wearing the C tonight with the other captains out of the lineup here. They tie up in the near corner, battling for it. It's worked out behind the cage. Dornbrock thrown into the bench that time. Still no whistle. No, they say it's still in play. I thought it hit someone in the Miami bench. But we'll play on. Kasdorf leaves it behind his net as it was dumped in by the Red Hawks. Here's Milos Pubella on a Banska Bistrik of Slovakia works it along for Wilson. His shot sticked into the far corner by Jay Williams, who was not the goaltender for Miami last night. It was Ryan McKay who picked up his first win of the year. Williams has played more time, the junior from McLean, Virginia, as it looked to be offside, and there the whistle goes just a hair late, but they got the call right in the end. Cody Murphy a little bit on ahead of the play. Yeah, Williams is a pretty good goaltender here. He's got a 1.66 goals against the average and a .923 save percentage. Uh, not as uh, stronger goaltender than the engineers faced last night. So the engineers are really going to have to find a way to uh, get him moving to uh, find some goals. Face off in the neutral zone. One back by the Red Hawks. Cato dumping it in. Comes around to the far side for Parker Reno. He takes a hit. He comes free to the near side half wall. Melanson, stick handling through center, flips it cross ice, it'll go all the way down, will it be icing? No, they wave it off. Puck behind the goal, digging for it is Melanson. Worked it to the half boards, pitching up is Reno, skips by him, Melanson keeps it in for a second, but now Miami will move it out to center. Louis, or Lewis rather, out ahead of the play, centering pass, what up save by Diebold, he turned him away. A great, uh, Post to post move for the junior netminder. Keeps Miami off the board here in a pretty passing play by the Red Hawks. Back behind their own net, they have it. Richart throws it behind the cage. Around for Cato. Cato to center, intercepted by the engineers is Wood. Wood feeding it forward. Into the zone. Shot coming is swept wide there by Jimmy DeVito. Kind of faked to pass at first and got a tricky shot. Looked like he was trying to use the defenseman as a screen. 
Uh, he did, but I think it might have gotten a piece of him as well as the puck went into the corner. This will be gloved down at center ice by Bell. Nearly a hand pass, but he was able to get a stick on the puck. Throws it to his defensive partner, Bradley. It's Bradley and Bradley Bell now. The defenseman for RPI and that ever so confusing defensive pairing. Off the glass, out to center by Chris Bradley. All the way down, it comes in on goal. Williams will leave it at the side of the game. Played behind by Joyo. And thrown off the wall, far side. All the way to the RPI end, where they quickly move it out to center. It's Wood. Wood tied up, but gets it out to center, where it's flipped right back into the RPI zone. Onto the tape of Hampton, who moves it right back into Miami territory. Turned around in his own zone. That's Paladice. And now to the RPI blue line. Back to get it is Bubella. He'll play it behind the goal for Prapavesis. Prapavesis. Back for Hampton, and now up the wall for Babella. Stick handles through center, crosses the red line. He'll backhand it into the zone near corner. Puck comes down there. It's picked up by Belpedio. He plays catch with Dornbrock, and now Belpedio through center all the way down. It's tipped at center, so no icing. It even comes in on goal as well. Miami makes a change. 13-25 left first period. No score here. RPI number six Miami from the Houston Fieldhouse. University, or Miami University, I should say, located... Oxford, Ohio, prestigious academic school, takes a shot from the far point, came free to the near point, Cato pitching in all the way down low to the goal line, work back to the point now, Sarnik shot, stopped by Diebold on the pad, don't know if he saw it all the way, but he's in the right position, and now Wilson takes a big hit, Puck pump comes free, trying to find Zarnik down low, uh, nothing doing there. And it'll be moved out to center ice. Ahead looking for La Liberté. And it's thrown back into the RPI zone. Chris Bradley up the wall, past La Liberté. He'll regain possession and flip it deep. Behind the goal, Miami has it. It's Rickard. Or Richard, rather, from Blaine, Minnesota, Jr. Gets it out to the neutral zone where it's stopped up there by Bradley Bell. Bell trying to work it back into the zone. Ties up his man. Puck bounces towards the RPI end where it's picked up by Bradley. Working it for Schrader. Thrown off the far boards and into Red Hawks territory. Going behind the goal with it is Polity. Shot right back in by the Engineers. Left behind the goal by Williams. Williams tried to play it back behind. Nearly picked off by Melanson on the forecheck. But the Red Hawks get it out to center. A couple players tied up there, worked near side. Into the zone comes DeVito, it's all by himself. Drop pass for Melanson. Melanson tried to fire it back in front. It was intercepted, broken up by Cody Murphy. And thrown ahead for a potential breakaway for Barber. Well, he's caught up with by Hampton. Hampton trying to, er, Barber's still on the puck, working it around in the near circle. Still Barber, throws it towards the point. It's picked off by Melanson. Melanson trying to skate it down, has three men to get through. He likes to just dump it in deep and go off on a chain. Belpedio. Out ahead of the play, fanning on the pass that time. At center was Lemerand. And that'll allow the engineers to take over their own zone. Knocked out of the air by Parker Reno. And the sophomore from Edina works it to the Miami line and across it. Picked up far side, now worked down low for Jake Wood. Wood far side, corner for DeVito. They look to cycle down low. It's flipped into the near corner by one of the Miami defensemen. Around for Barber, near side. He gets roughed up there by Wilson. Puck goes deep, picked up by Belpedio, and thrown up the far boards. Turning at center is Lemerand. Gets it into the RPI zone. It goes spinning into the corner. They wave off the icing. Not enough legs on it there. Wilson has it with 10.45 left in the first period. And the score of this game, shots are 6-1 Miami as the engineers cross the blue line offside. Yeah, and a great play there by Phil Hampton getting back on the uh, Red Hawks breakaway. Just an excellent hustle getting back and uh, taking away uh, the break, the breaking man's forehand with his stick and using uh, his body to take away his other option, cutting back to center ice. Uh, Great play that could have uh, potentially ended up in the M Miami going up one to nothing, but it stays at 0-0. The Red Hawks have it, flip softly into the far corner. First one to it is Bradley Bell. Shot through center. And now here's Liljegren on the move, back after an injury last night. And he takes a hit there, but didn't look any worse for the wear. No, a quick look ahead pass for Schmidt, dropping it back into the high slot, and he threw it out of the zone. Kevin Morris uh, just couldn't get to that one in time, and it crossed into the neutral zone. 
clearly putting Miami in an offside position. The, the engineers look pretty good here so far in the, in the early goings of this game. The shots on goal are 6-1 six, six to one for Miami, but the engineers have been skating uh, stride for stride with this Miami team. Uh, they're, they're not letting them have a lot of open space. Uh, they, just, they really need to work on getting the puck into the zone and keeping it there in the uh, offensive end. RPI looking to work out of their own zone. It's worked ahead by Bokenford. All the way down low. Chopped at there by Mooney. Slammed in from the point. It's tipped up into the netting. Smart play there by Bradley. Didn't have a lot of room to work with and ends up throwing a shot on goal. It's just RPI's second in the game, but uh, he'll get offensive zone face off as well. And in order to get into the uh, offensive zone and, and stay there, they're going to have to uh, come through the neutral zone, I think, with a little bit more speed. They're coming in with uh, one guy moving, and there's often guys, you know, two guys just standing still at the, at the blue line, and they just have to dump and chase, and they just turn it right back over to the Red Hawks. Puck one on the defensive zone draw by Joyo. Goes behind his own goal with it, gets it back, throws it off the glass. It'll come down at center, gloved down there by Bokenfor. Swept into the zone, but didn't get a lot of it. Mooney tries to touch it ahead. He was trying to get it forward for uh, Gasic, but the engineers will have it in their own end. Into the Miami zone, the engineers are onside as Fulton runs into his man in the far corner. Kenny Gillespie over there, kicking at it. Gillespie does a nice job to work out of the corner and fires it off the back of the cage. From behind the goal line, Gillespie back on the puck in the corner. Looking to cycle, throws it back for his man, it will hold the goal, and it was, not sure who it was there, uh, Fulton, but he was being roughed up and wasn't even on his feet. Engineers get it deep again. Williams helps it along to the far side half wall. Kicked at by Murphy. Played back behind, and Miami will start over from behind the goal. Joyo. Flipped out by Cato to center ice, into the zone, and thrown towards the middle. Intercepted nicely by La Liberté, who defends the center spot well. The outlet pass is broken up. It stays in the zone. Now another look in front. Pass was off the mark, and out to center. Cato has it. He goes D to D for Belpinio. Up the wall for Cody Murphy, senior from Highwood, Illinois. Trapped up at the near corner. They get it deep. Lewis behind the goal. Lewis still on it. Centering pass. One timer. They score. Pretty play. And Lewis finds Cody Murphy for the goal. It's 1 0 Miami. Yeah, and the engineers go for a big hit behind the net and miss, and that makes the, the defenders in front have to uh, come and take the man with the puck, and they just little uh, just dump it right to the open man right on top of the crease, and they, they put the puck home. So it's 1 0 Miami. Face off, won by the engineers at center ice. Shot off the far glass by the engineers, it'll go deep. Richard intercepted the engineers, fire save Williams! A giveaway right in front of the Miami goal and the engineers couldn't bury it. Captain at the point by Bell. Bell walking in, has a couple men in front, he'll go behind the cage, still Bradley Miami Bell. Bell down low for Bourbonnet. Bourbonnet looking for the pass in the middle. It's intercepted by Zarnik, but they can't get it out yet. Now it's carried out by Barber. He runs, gets run into by Bourbonnet. Bourbonnet is the one who goes down. It's a shot from the top of the far circle. Stopped there by uh, Kansdorf. And that was Joyo, but he couldn't control it. He'll go all the way back to Williams in front of his own goal there. 7.23 left in the first. It's 1 0 Miami University. As the engineers will have it, thrown off the glass out to center, where it's controlled by the Red Hawks in their own end. Spinning around there was Belpedio, trying to get away from the pressure of Fulton and does. Throws it out to center all the way through everybody. He's picked up by Prapavasis at his own end. Liljegren, saucer pass ahead for Mubella. He couldn't control, then a Miami player fans on it, picked up by Liljegren. Near side Fulton, top of the circle, shot! And there's a blocker save made by Williams. Near corner, coming out of the corner is Babella, throws it right into the chest of Williams, and he holds on there. Engineers showing a bit of a spark after giving up that goal with a couple of solid chances. I think it was Bourbonnet earlier who had a wide open look and wasn't able to beat Williams from right in front of the goal. Yeah, just wasn't able to get it past him with that wide open, wide open opportunity. But uh, what do you think here, Perry? Do the uh, engineers look like they're trying to be a little more physical maybe than, than they were last night in the early goings? Yeah, a little bit smoother, but you, you never know. Uh, I thought RPI was real good in the first period yesterday. 
Uh, so we'll see. Did he keep it in at the line? No. What an effort, though. It was a rocket coming out of the zone, and the right defenseman over there just couldn't keep it in. It looks like it was Parker Reno. Ready to go here. Face off outside of the Miami zone. They have it. Scooping it into the RPI and it'll go all the way down. It'll be icing is the question, yes. We'll have another stoppage here. 6.28 to go in the first. one nothing.
Winning ticket in tonight's 50-50 drawing, ticket number 881-820. 50-50 drawing ticket 881-820. Hockey. For more information or to express interest, contact us at WRPI Dashboards at rpi.edu. And as we get ready to start this second period, uh, we're gonna we look for the engineers to uh, try and get back in this game. The current sh the current uh, shot totals are 23 in favor of Miami Red Hawks and 18 for the engineers. The Red Hawks also hold a faceoff advantage of 22 to 16. Here we go, third period, RPI down 3-0. They've shown signs of putting one past Jay Williams, but it hasn't happened yet. The McLean of Virginia native has stopped all 18 shots he's faced and we're underway here in the third. The engineers have it in their own end. Chipping it off the boards all the way down. Race for the puck, we picked up in the far corner and the Red Hawks will move it out to center. Through the neutral zone and dumping in is Lemoran, and he gets rocked along the far boards. Orbanite sweeping it towards the point where it's kept in by Belpedio. Now picked up in the slot, off the pipe. Zarnik picked up a loose puck as, again, the engineers uh, have a couple of adventures in their own end this evening. They'll break out. Here's Borbonet all the way down low with it. Penalty upcoming. I'm not sure who they're going to get here. Yeah, both a player from RPI and from the Red Hawks went crashing into the net. I think they're going to get Liljegren. Yeah, it looks like they're going to take Liljegren to the bench. I haven't seen a, a signal as to for what call, though. They were tangled up. That's, that's not a good call. I'm sorry. That's two guys. It, it looked bad because Liljegren was the one facing forward in the end, but he, he and uh, Alex uh, Gasick, well, they have... They put Reno on the board. No, that's that's right. That's a little chagrin. Uh, but it looked like the two of them were tangled up, uh, both driving to that. Little chagrin, of course, driving to that, and Gasek was uh, trying to defend them, and it ended up being the bigger little chagrin running Gasek into the net. I guess they're going to call it interference, but it looked like both of them were holding each other. Anyway, power play, the fourth of the game for Miami upcoming. Quick shot was stopped by Kazdorf. He stopped that one right in the midsection. He made the save. Yeah, you know, if anything, Perry, I mean, you've got the offensive player trying to drive to the net, and I mean, if the, the defender's going to run into him like that, he's probably been beat. So if anything, you'd think it'd be a interference on the defensive player, but Whatever the case may be, the referees thought otherwise, and uh, the engineers are on uh, the penalty kill. I've been okay with a no call there, but uh, anyway, you see guys running that all the time. And they saw something that we didn't. Anyway, uh, move on minute 15 into the second period. Okay, not a great start to the frame as they go on the penalty kill to start things off. Here's Lewis into the zone. Stick handling, throws it back up top. Shot coming, pad save on the try by Cato. And now working it down low. Corrali towards the point. Lewis stick handles around Schrader. Walking in. Wrist shot saved by Kazdor. Rebound to the side of the cage and it's swept away. Picked up in the far corner. It's Murphy. He's tied up. Lost the puck. As does Lewis. Engineers clear all the way down. Williams stops it up there. He will leave it behind the net. Jay Williams playing in his 52nd game in his career here for Miami as the Red Hawks are offside. Williams a 29-14-3 uh, career record. 224 goals against 9-10 save percentage. And this is a Miami program that uh, in, the, in years past has used multiple goalies uh, 
at the same time, kind of a 1A, 1A, 1B type situation. So a lot of times you'll see top goalies not have the same amount of games played as at other schools. Uh, but in this case, Williams getting the opportunity here to play just about every night for this Miami squad. Belpedio handing it off for Zarnik. Zarnik throwing it near side for Barber. Barber into the zone. A shot flexed wide. Not sure if it caught Hampton on the way through. RPI will pick it up and clear it all the way down. As the defensive job that time was done by Riley Bourbonnet. Basically all hands on deck for RPI shorthanded wise. We've seen Jacob de Liberté uh, take some time on the shorthanded unit as well. Something he probably would not have touched in past years. Joyo into the zone. Far side goes down low with it. Skips past. Shot comes to the side of the net. Excuse me, it skipped past uh, Melanson. Now, just across the line, shot and a pad save on the try by Belpedio. Engineers pick it up and throw it off the glass. As Politis has it, chopped forward, and it comes in on goal to avoid the icing for Miami. Long outlet pass tipped in deep by Melanson, who goes off in a chain. Richard has it, plays it to his defensive partner, Dornbrock. Now up the far side wall, Greenberg has it stopped up at the blue line. Engineers send it back the other way. Miami to control again in zone zone. Belpedio. Three and a half into the third. Still 3 0 Miami. Over skated along the far side. Engineers will take over. Moving it out to center ice. Far side. Crossing the blue line, dumping it in. There's a broken stick there. Bubella just tosses it aside and goes off to either grab a new one or go off the chain. Mooney has it stripped to the puck. And Rickert picks it up and throws it into the far corner of the RPI zone. Near side now, Prapovesis. Stick handling. Plays it behind. Too far for Bradley. Skated down by Gasek. Gasek looking to work it down low. It's picked off and moved out by RPI. Into the zone looking for Fulton. Goes all the way down into the uh, below the goal line and out of the near corner. First one to it is Craig Boken for. Boken four ties up in the corner there. Spinning out of the circle is Bell. Tried to throw it near side. It was intercepted briefly by Corrali and carried back in offside by Prapovas as Boken four was very deep into the zone. Yeah, Boken four and uh, I think I believe Mooney got tied up in the corner there. Uh, it looked like they just got their equipment tangled as uh, Boken four was trying to put on a four check and uh, they got stuck deep in the zone. And by the time RPI was ready to break back in. Boken four was just was just then coming out of the zone. Draw coming outside the Miami end. Shot into the zone by Gillespie. First one to it is Joyo. Joyo trying to work it out, get some help as Gillespie just couldn't control the puck. He would have kept it in. Now Lewis, top of the circle, fanned on the first shot, then takes the shot and he put it wide. Into the near corner it goes. Gillespie gets on it, tried to stick handle. His way to the blue line, lost the puck. Gillespie, or excuse me, uh, Louis Lewis walking in, a shot off the shoulder of Kasdorf up in the netting. And once again, uh, the Red Hawks have a guy sitting there right on the back door. I'm not even sure that was so much of a missed shot as it was a, a shot pass. They were just looking for a little tap in on the back side as uh, one of the Red Hawks found themselves sitting wide open on the back door. And luckily for the engineers, it uh, he fanned on the shot and just went through his skates to the corner. Face off coming, push behind the RPI goal. Wilson's the first one to it. Jared Wilson off the boards, picked up by Bourbonnet. He'll work it out further to center ice. Controlled right in front of the Miami bench. Lemoran worked into the zone by the engineers, however. Good stick handling by Lildren to get it deep. Bourbonnet turning, firing it back to the point. Hampton down low for Schrader. Schrader dropped pass into the slot. He was looking to find Bourbonnet. His stick was being tied up there by Politis. All the way down the ice it goes on the clearing effort. It will be icing on the Red Hawks. 14-24 left in the third. It's 3-0 Miami. Shots are 28-18 in favor of the Red Hawks. And time starting to run out for the engineers here, trailing by three goals with 14 minutes and 24 seconds left. They're going to have to, uh, if they're going to start to make a comeback, they're going to have to find their first goal here and get the, uh, get the car rolling pretty quick. Grapovesis off the boards, looking to center. It's intercepted. Good sliding play there by Zarnik. They teach you not to go down to your knees or 
stomach unless you absolutely have to but that time it was a, a good play by Zarnik. He broke up the pass. You should just stay on your feet. Is a youth hockey player. No, someone driving that's Barber drove right to the net and got Dax. Went down, never got the shot away. DeVito stops up at the blue line. Back has it into the zone. Babella was offside momentarily. He gets back on. And RPI is allowed to go back and forth check once more. Tapped in deep by the Red Hawks. Prap of S is back, get it for RPI. Shot around far side and now through the middle of the ice off the skate of DeVito. Shot from the point comes in. It goes wide. Now near side Schmidt. He'll just play it down low. Too far for Morris. Pushing up the boards is Dornbrock. Taking over are the engineers in their own end. It's DeVito playing it back for Prapovas. It's Miami changing behind the play. A little over 13 to go in the third. Arpen looking for some offense from somebody here as Melanson into the zone. Stick handling all the way down low. Backhanding in front. He was swatted away by the defense covering the front of the cage. It was Cato. Working it back to the center of the ice. A poking for a wrister. Rebound shot. And put it wide. It was Reno looking for the top corner. Missed high and wide. DeVito gets it down low for Melanson. He's tied up but stays on the puck. Melanson working it back to the point. One timer coming. A drive goes wide from the high slot area. That came off the stick of Bradley Bell. who's was playing with a lot more confidence than he was earlier in the year. He's working the puck and getting the offensive zone. He's a very talented Everybody, offensive defenseman. That's what I think we'll see more of as his career progresses. He got a good looking slap shot off from the point there, just missed the net by a couple inches. And a good, a good uh, pressure there from the uh, engineers. And only uh, three of the engineers change here as Melanson and I believe Liljegren stay on the ice as they were generating some good chances in the zone. I'm sorry, it was well, Liberté, not Liljegren. Puck moved to the far corner of the Miami zone. Well, PDL has it looking for the long outlet pass and he connects there. Corrali into the zone, fell down, lost an edge, and goes flying into the net. And the faceoff will come outside the zone. So Corrali uh, kind of found himself facing the wrong way and he, when he tried to straighten himself out, lost the puck, fell down, and went careening into the goal. Yeah, and uh, fortunate there that Corrali just uh, loses an edge. <laughs> fortunate that he just loses an edge there and uh, makes the save pretty easy for Diebold and uh, Corrali goes flying into the net, and the faceoff is going to come uh, outside the engineer's zone. Well, it almost worked out because K uh, Kasdorf got out of the way, and both the puck and Corrali went towards the net. Would have been an interesting call if the puck had gone in before Corrali did. Uh, but as in the case, it didn't. Puck and the faceoff out to center. Engineer's control there. Flipped into the zone by Fulton. Thrown cross ice by Politis. Good outlet pass to Lewis. Lewis trying to center, but he's uh, roughed up a bit by Bradley. Now a cross ice pass and a one timer saved by Kasdorf. And it was Murphy trying to get on the rebound, but he couldn't do so. He's being defended well. Now back out to center is La Liberté. Picked up by Bradley, who tried to stick handle around Politis. Shot back towards the Miami zone. Played up the boards. Too far for Murphy and all the way down. They wave off the icing as it's picked up by Prapovesis. Mike Prapovesis, far side for Wood. Tried to control. The pass was behind him. Chopped at and nearly cleared out. Engineers sweep it back into the zone. It was Wood, but right onto the tape of Zarnik. Zarnik stick handling through center, picking up speed through the neutral zone. Far side of the RPI end. Behind the goal he goes. Zarnik still on it. Gets bumped. Picked up at the point. Faking a dump in is picked up by Riley Barber. Barber trying to stick handle away from Melanson. It's over to Zarnik. Zarnik walking in, centering pass. Barber shot. Kick save made. Not a lot on the shot by Barber. And that would probably help to Kasdorf into making that stop. He did throw it on goal. Kasdorf didn't need to be there. Didn't need to react quite as quickly as he may have had to in other cases there. As Barber can usually muster a little bit more on the shot than he did. Shot deep by Dornbrock. Comes nearly out of the zone at the near point. Now it does. Gillespie helps it on further for Liljegren. Liljegren chips it deep. 10.45 to go in the third. Still 3-0 Miami. Greenberg, far side of his own end, chopped at by Morris out to center. Swinging at it was DeVito. Got just enough to get it around the onrushing Miami player. Now was Morris. Now Gillespie. Up ahead for DeVito. DeVito backhands it to the middle of the ice. Played ahead by Bell. Bell into the far corner. He's chased down by Belpedio. Goes behind the goal line. Gillespie trying to shield the puck. Lost it. Four players are down in the far corner. Now Bell. 
Bell working out of the corner. Lost the puck, picked up by Cato. Cato up the far boards, touch past center ice, they give it away, they never got it out of the zone. Pushed deep by Gillespie, picked up by Bourbonnet. Bourbonnet flips the stick away from Cato, who's now playing without one. Trying to clear is Mooney, and Prapovest is trying to hold the zone, he does. DeVito gets crunched there along the near wall, picked up by Mooney, he'll skate behind his own net to relieve the pressure. Mooney off the far boards, out to center. Into Morris, who gets knocked down by Bradley. Carried on further by Corrali. Corrali into the RPI zone, goes down below the goal line. Watched by Prapovest, all the way around to the top of the far circle. Still Corrali, stops up at the near point now. Throws it far side. Politis has it knocked away by Bokafor and out to center. Back to claim it is Corrali in his own end. Being chopped at by Fulton, stays on the puck. Corrali all, all the way into the near corner, back to the point. Politis. Avoids the hit of Fulton. Takes a shot. High save. Rebound poked away by Kasdorf. As Gacic, or Gacic, rather was there to look for the rebound. But he was being covered up by looked like Bradley. Under, puck is underneath Bokenfor in the far corner. Now he pins it against the boards and gets to his feet. Under nine to go in the third. Shots are 30 to 19 Miami. Still battling behind the RPI goal. It comes free to the near side where it's moved towards the point, kept in on the shot that goes wide, a bouncing puck off the stick of Joyo. Now into the zone, it's Coleman trying to walk his way in. He was tied up now behind the net. Now Coleman on it, top of the far circle. Still Coleman, stick handling around Fulton, who's without a stick, shot up high, may have gotten a piece of Kavsdor's blockers and made his way to the far side. Penalty coming up on RPI, it's gonna be a boarding call. And it could be a hefty one here. I'm not sure who it is. Looks like Bubella. It's tough to see the numbers with these uh, one-time use uniforms sometimes, but it looks like Milos Bubella is the one who's going to go off here. And it's a pretty bad boarding call on the RPI Junior. Yeah, it's going to be Bubella's second uh, second call of the night, I believe. His first bouncy was also for boarding. and. You know, that, that might be a result of a, that was a tired group out there on the ice for the engineers. The Red Hawks had, had been in, in, uh, on the offensive for, for quite some time. And um, the engineers just unable to get out of the zone, look very tired and take a, take a pretty untimely penalty with only eight yeah. minutes and 23 seconds remaining in the period. And they are still trailing well, by three. Long discussion here between the officials. Uh, Scott Wheeler and Peter Fiola, they elect to go with a two-minute penalty. That was a borderline five-minute major, and that's where the discussion came from. Engineers fans will be happy that's just the two, or this would have essentially put the game away for all intents and purposes. Of a five-minute major with 8.20 left to basically seals the game. RPI's uh, hopes still dwindling here with time running out, but at least they're not completely... Uh, out the window. Here's Melanson in shorthand. It takes a shot. Saved by Williams. Pop free to Schrader. It's knocked away from him at the last moment. Swatted back into the zone by Hampton. It'll be stopped up by Williams. Belpedio has it behind his own net. Up ahead for Barber. Riley Barber into the zone. He's been kept off the uh, score sheet so far this evening. There's a shot and a save by Kasdor. Good reactions there by the junior netminder who hasn't had his best game. He Gave up what could be considered his softest goal of the year earlier tonight, but he makes a good stop there on a point-blank try that denies uh, Louis Belpedio. Yeah, and another another shot from wide open in front of the in front of the slot. And this this penalty kill has been pretty good, but just overall, they, there's been an inability to uh, have guys in the slot taking away that slot from these Red Hawks. I take it back. Riley Barber is on the score. She does have an assist in the game. Misspoke moments ago. Two points for, or two goals, excuse me, for Cody Murphy. He's the top point man in the game. And engineers, of course, are currently being shut out here. 58 seconds to go on the uh, boarding call to Milos Babelo. Cato throws it cross ice, bouncing puck, finds Corrali. Corrali near side for Lewis. Sweeping poke check that time, got it free for a moment by Bourbonnet, but Miami keeps it in the zone. One timer out in front, another save by Kasdorf. That time he denied Murphy, looking for the hat trick. Shot from the far point, turned away by Kasdorf. Lewis centering pass, Murphy gets decked there. Puck played, but not out. Kept in by Cato near point. Lewis, he gets bumped. 
by Bourbonnet. Or in fact, here comes Bourbonnet, shorthanded rather. Shot coming, save made. Is that check I spoke of earlier was by someone else. And here comes Murphy into the zone. Far side circle. Tried to play it down low. He helped the skate of Reno. And he'll work it up the far boards into the zone. Schrader's going to be the first one to it. Rickard's there with him. He plays it around to the near side boards. Out of the box. We're back to five aside. Engineers on the attack now. Shot by Reno's block. Goes behind the goal to the corner. Belpedio has Liljegren tied up. Over to help out is. Looks like La Liberté, and it is. They tie up in the far corner. Belpedio behind the goal. Stick handling and playing up the far board, looking for Blake Coleman. Broken up by the engineers who are doing a good job of possessing here in the offensive end. Now Belpedio pulls it off the wall, goes down, but we play on. Trying to drive in front. Lildren using his strength, centering pass out in front. Good interception by Barber. There were two engineers waiting to pick up that puck and look for a clean uh, shot on goal. Now Zarnik back the other way. Drop past Coleman. Coleman trying to stick handle. Zarnik in front. He was trying to find Barber. And it nearly connected. Would have been a very pretty play if they finished it off. But in turn, the engineers head back the other direction. Fulton on the move. Stick knocked out of his hand. Slashing call coming up. It's going to go on Schmidt. As Miami touches it up, RPI with the slightest of hopes. Uh, rest here on this upcoming power play. As Schmidt arguing, he did not come down all that hard on the stick of Fulton, but a slash nonetheless, he's going to go off here. Yeah, and in a game when uh, the, the team is losing by uh, three goals, and any time you, you take that stick, that that obviously you're out of the, uh, the play, other players saying you're going to pick up a, a slashing penalty. So an opportunity here for the uh, engineers to get on the board with a uh, power play with uh, five minutes and 22 seconds left in this third period. RPI on the power play here, getting things set up along the near wall. Melanson down low. Puck was on edge. It's controlled by Wood. Back to the far point. It skips over the stick of Wilson and out to center. Prapavesis has it neutral zone near side. Playing it back. Wilson far side into the zone. Melanson steps around one man walking in. Melanson shot and that hit off the defender. And it comes free to the near corner. Prapavesis pinching in, keeps it in for Wood. Threw it. Much too hard for Melanson down low. That'll allow Miami, Miami to try and clear. Kept in nicely at the point by Wilson. Second effort gets it done. It's cleared out by Dornbrock. Engineers will break things out of their own end. Sent back the other way. Race for the puck. Zarnik is tied up with Bradley. Good play defensively by the acting captain. Chris Bradley, minute to go on the RPI power play. 4.20 left in the third. Here comes Wood on the move. Stick handling. Runs right through his man. Then comes up high with a stick. Penalty upcoming here. I think it's going to go on RPI. Essentially speared Zarnik uh, while running into him. It's going to be a roughing call, and it's going to go on Wood. RPI fans don't like it. Uh, but that'll negate the final 44 seconds of power play time for the engineers. And Wood uh, kind of just took his man right into the stanchion, right in front of the right in front of the Miami bench, and he'll pick up the roughing call at uh, with four minutes and five seconds remaining in this game. So four on four here for 44 seconds. Not much argument there. It was a pretty clear uh, play. Wood did not necessarily need to make. He could have finished off the check without uh, kind of throwing that extra effort into it. And getting his stick up high didn't help either. Now the engineers have it looking to break out. We're four on four here for another 25 seconds. Kicked into the zone by Liljegren, trying to find the puck and finally does, although he does leave the zone. They'll have to go back and get it. Reno just off the bench, dumps it in. Stopped up by Williams behind the goal. Belpedio has it. 3 0 Miami as we approach three and a half minutes to go in the third. Engineers will be shorthanded in seven seconds, but they have the puck in the neutral zone. Prabavesis stick handling through center into the zone. Top of the circle, shot saved. Rebound comes free. DeVito trying to track it down. He was tied up with Lewis and is taken over by Richard. Give and go through the zone. Comes Miami. Kick save made by Kasdorf. Picked up at the point. Walking in is Dornbrock centering it. Three engineers around Schmidt. He gets his shot off, but it's an easy save for Kasdorf as his stick was partially tied up. 
Now it's worked out by the engineers to center. Chipped in by Schrader, comes off the back of Rickard. That lives, gives Schrader a chance to get back on the puck. He's one on three, plays it back towards the point. It comes out to center, and the engineers will do a little bit of ragging of the puck here. Still on the kill for another 35 seconds. Schrader with it, back to his own zone. Flings it high and all the way down the ice. It'll be stopped up by Williams, leaves it for Dornbrock. 25 seconds to go on the abbreviated Miami power play. Into the zone. Corrali, top of the circle, wrist shot. Got a deflection in front, but it never made it to goal. It was a Lemerand. Chopped that towards the far corner. Now played to the point. Bourbonnet's going to intercept and move it out to center. Throws it right onto the tape of Politis. Bradley, out of the box comes Wood. And they'll say that not icing. They say got rid of the puck before the penalty expired. Under two minutes to go, third period. Miami trying to close out the shutout here. Leading 3-0. Greenberg has it pried away by Melanson, picked up by Bourbonnet. Bourbonnet skating in, has a man in front. Throws it off the goaltender's stick and gets some help there. Schmidt kind of played it back to his goalie, hoping he would cover, and he was able to. Yeah, the engineers uh, able to get a little bit of pressure there in the Miami zone, and uh, they just play it right back to Williams and allow him to cover up, and Williams is going to take off his helmet here and get a little bit more of a breather for his uh, defensive team, defensive crew here as uh, they get ready for the faceoff. Puck into the corner. Fulton wraps it around towards the half boards. Prapavesis picks it up there. Nice move to get free by Mike Prapavesis. Stick handles through the legs of Lemerand. Gets it down low for Gillespie. Near corner, Fulton. Stick handling there. Gillespie trying to get on it. Fulton's tied up. Puck was behind the goal once more. Gillespie shielding. Trying to move out of the far corner. He's tied up by Dornbrock. Still Gillespie. Cycling for Fulton. Fulton makes a move. Trying to get away from Zarnik. Works it to the far point. Prapaves is spinning free. Top of the circle. Walking in. Prapaves is a shot over the top. Comes down off the glass in the near corner. Kept in by Bell. Barber plays it through his own legs out to center. It's picked up by Bokenfor. Under a minute to go in the third period. Shot in deep. It comes down in the near corner. Slammed off the glass. Gloved at by Wilson. And played by Gillespie. That should be a hand pass. And again, second time they've missed a hand pass today. Not the end of the world, but a little bit puzzling. Anyway, Miami shoots it all the way down. Worked out to the near boards. And Liljegren will work it out to center with 33 seconds left. Shot in from center off the stick of Kasdorf. High off the glass to the near corner of the RPI zone. Trying to walk off the wall with it is Lewis. Shot by Coleman goes wide. Picked up along the far side by Lewis, and he shoots it deep with 17 to go. Wilson off the glass out to center. Gloved down at center ice by Belpedio. And now Cato shoots it deep. Seven seconds left. Chris Bradley up the near boards looking for Lil Jagren. That's intercepted by Coleman with one second, and that will do it as the hit right at the horn. Needs some policing. That being done by Craig Wilson. So the engineers fall in the series finale 2-0. Miami takes a sweep by scores of 3-2 and 3-0 here. 36 shots for Miami here in this one to 22 for RPI. Jason Kasdorf again was pretty good. Uh, the goal he gave up that was the questionable one doesn't seem to matter much anymore as the final was 3-0. If RPI is able to come back with two, you could talk about the goal a little bit, but uh, engineers didn't really help out the junior uh, netminder at the other end of the ice. Yeah, Kasdorf, uh, Kasdorf wasn't great, but he wasn't terrible. I mean, he had a .917 save percentage, and I mean, in a game where you give up 36 shots, you know, he does a pretty good job, and like you said, there, was, there wasn't there was much help at the other end uh, for, for the junior netminder. Um, the Engineers' uh, penalty kill was fantastic in this game. However, it probably is one of the main reasons that they were not able to find any offense because they were constantly down a man. Even though they didn't give up a goal on the penalty kill, they spent a lot of time defending, whereas they could have been in the offensive zone attacking. Uh, a very good first period for the engineers, and then kind of downhill starting with the first goal and taking some penalties at uh, inopportune times led to uh, a lot of chances and a lot of pressure for the Miami Redhawks.
So I'll run down the scoring as uh, Rob will come up with his offensive and defensive engineers of the game. Uh, it was Cody Murphy who got the scoring started at 11.36 of the first period. An assist to Anthony Lewis and Blake Coleman. Then Anthony, Z or excuse me, Austin Zarnick made it 2 0 at 7.27 of the second with assist to Riley Barber and Scott Dornbrock. Then, seven seconds later, at 7.34 of the period, an even strength goal by Cody Murphy, unassisted, his eighth of the year, made it 3 0. 33 stops for Jason Kasdorf, and a shutout for Jay Williams stopped all 22 shots he faced. He saw 12 shots uh, in the first period, but just six in the second and four in the third. So RPI's offense, uh, at least statistically, uh, diminished throughout the course of the game. And uh, once again, not a lot of offense in this uh, game for the engineers. But that being said, the offensive engineer of the night, I'm going to go with Drew Melanson once again uh, on the ice quite a lot, uh, creating a lot of chances in the offensive zone, getting some shots on net, and uh, being being good on the forecheck. Just all around a good job in the offensive zone for Melanson tonight. As for the defensive engineer of the game, I'm going to go with Chris Bradley. Bradley making a lot of good plays, spending a lot of time on the ice against the, the top players of the Red Hawks. He spent a lot of time defending against Corrali and Zarnik, who lead the team in points uh, this, this season. And he will be the defensive engineer of the night. Once again, that's Chris Bradley. Here at uh, WRPI, we would like to thank the Rensselaer Union, which provides the funding for WRPI and all the club-related activity of the Institute, including WRPI's coverage of RPI hockey, football, and baseball. WRPI is on the World Wide Web. Put, point your browser to WRPI.org and you can pick up WRPI's broadcast 24 hours a day, seven days a week, so long as WRPI is broadcasting. We will provide the broadcast on our internet feed. Once again, that is WRPI.org. And WRPI Sports is currently seeking RPI students to make live calls of RPI athletic events such as this one. There are opportunities this season to get on the air for men's and women's hockey. For more information or to express inter interest, contact us at WRPI-sports at RPI. Dot edu. And we would also like to thank our inboarder back at the station, Eric, for making this broadcast possible. On behalf of uh, Perry Lascaris, this has been Rob Orban. Uh, the final score from the field house is the Miami Red Hawks 3, the RPI Engineers 0. You have been listening to live coverage of Engineer Hockey on 91.5 FM WRPI Troy.